now to the band that has literally rocked all over the world. Their status quo, and they play the smallest venue they've ever played tonight. They're still selling millions of records around the globe, though, so why are they appearing in a pub in Manchester later tonight? Carrie Griffiths has the story. The top rockers attempted to sneak in by the back door, but the fans who've been gathering since one o'clock gave them no chance for a quiet entrance. And it's in this tiny upstairs room that the legendary Quo are going to be playing in just a couple of hours' time. It's a far cry from their usual stadium-sized venues. So the first and most obvious question to ask is why? It is purely to advertise the album, which is called Under the Influence, with a pub sign on the front. So we thought to, to advertise it and to raise the profile, we'd do a pub tour. And here we are. Great idea on paper, as I said. <coughs> They've been rocking all over the world for 28 years now, but don't seem to have lost their lust for the limelight. How have you still got the energy after all this time to be bothered doing this? Well, well, well sitting here on yeah, these chairs. Yeah. Well, you have the drive. That's the thing we have in all in everybody in showbiz. I think you have that drive to, to go on and try and do better. Whether this is better or not, I don't know. Once we get in, you know, you come straight in. They're on. They're all happening. So it's, it tends to be fine, and uh, they'll get um, a bunch of a bunch of hits plus three of the uh, new tracks in the album. Well, Radio 1 may not want them anymore, but a die-hard status quo fan never loses the faith. You know, the, the fans love to see you up that close, and it's very hot and sweaty and, and noisy and loud and all that, but this is not a close, though. Not a close. You said I'm not that close. I'm in the coldest thing. Oh. And um, it's, not, it's not a normal show that we do. We, we're used to doing a show, and you can't... Have you seen the room? You see how much room we have, and, uh, and you can see about normally about 25 people and that's it and you can't see any further than that so we well, used to move in you know we're wild us guys we're really wild normally well let's cross live now to keris who's down at the star and garter uh, keris most sign of old faded denim down there tonight well lots of denim and i've managed to drag five of the diehard fans upstairs We're in front of the stage two hours to go to the gig so are you excited lads oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. now yesi i know you've been a fan for many years what does it mean to you to be coming to a gig like this tonight well, to come and see Status Quo in a pub, in my opinion, they're the biggest pub band in the world anyway, when you see them in any arena. To actually see them in a pub is going to be absolutely unbelievable, and uh, I'll have a few beers tonight. <laughs> oh, already had a few, yeah, I think. Yeah. Have you ever been this close to your heroes before? No, and I actually met them this afternoon, and uh, that'll do me. Paul, now, yeah. I know if you've got a Man United tattoo, you're yeah. a Man United fan. Yeah. <laughs> you come in here and not going to the Of course, yeah, I wouldn't miss this for the world. What makes a good Quo fan? A good Quo fan is anybody between 6 and 60 who's into good music, basically. Yeah. And spends a lot of money travelling around? Spends a lot of money travelling around Europe, like I've done, and countless hundreds of other people. So you've got to be loyal? You've got to be loyal, yeah, basically. Yeah. Right, now, Ian, how long have you been a Quo fan, and why? Oh, 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 longer than I care to remember. 28, 30 years, something like that. Why? Years. Um, I think the, the reason I got into them was because I saw the cover of the 1972 album Pile Driver, which is a picture of the three guitarists stood there going, <laughs> and that was it. I just thought, I want to do that. You want to be? I've that not band. been able to do it, but I can still watch <laughs> them doing it. That's the best thing about Quo. There's no other band on the planet that you could have followed for like the past 30 years that are still doing it. Right. That's the that's the thing about Quo. Sure. Dave, now is it cliche that all Quo fans look just the same? Not at all, you don't have to have long hair, denim jacket or things to see status quo, this appeals to such, you know, an amount of different people. If you go to a status quo concert, you see older people there and they've got the children on the shoulders, yeah. all sorts. So they appeal to the age group, to anybody really, can enjoy status quo life. It's a fantastic band to go and watch live. Ian, Ian, have you been at me? Oh, it's like Andy, I'm trying to get it wrong somewhere along the line. Only one, what yeah. are you expecting from this tonight? Um, back to the roots, just raw, boogie, head down. Yeah. The audience participation. Hey. Yeah. I just want to ask Paul very quickly, just give us a quick demonstration of a dance. The dance? Right. That's the dance. Yeah, dance. Yeah. Have you got a favourite Quo song? Yeah. yeah. Very quickly. Uh, don't wait for my time, 45 minutes. Well, I think you they're all. Oh my God. Looks like we're we'll going to have to come around here and join in. Yeah. 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 This is what it's going to be like tonight. I don't know this song never before. Right, okay, yes, yeah, you've got something to say. Yeah. 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 Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I thought you'd never come back to us. That's going to be a really wild party tonight. Have a great time.